All right, welcome back, everybody. My next guest is a good friend of mine, and he is the CEO of a multi-billion dollar oil company in Africa. <laughs> He's only in his 30s. Please give it up for my buddy, Kevin O'Shearing. What's up, man? How you feeling? Feeling great, Steve. How, how you doing? Good, man. For those who don't know, tell us, tell us exactly what you do. I'm in the energy business. We are a privately owned African company. To explain for the average person to understand, what we do touches the lives of everyone. For example, if you are traveling, the road that you are on, there's some oil and gas, there's, there's oil in there because bitumen is what is used to, you know, put the, put the road together. If you go to your, your, your house and you, you turn on water and the water is flowing, you need to understand that we are, you know, the energy sector, we are providing the power needed for the water company to send the water to your home. So what we do it basically just touches everyone's life and we are excited to be able to, you know, enhance, you know, enhance lives. Here's the thing, man. What I learned from him, Africa is the only continent that does not have to import anything. They don't need your oil. They don't need your gas. They don't need your gold. They don't need your food. They don't need your rice. They don't need your cattle. They don't need your corn. They don't need nothing. It is the only continent that does not have to import anything. <laughs> now, last month, uh, I had two young girls on the show, Addison and Maureen. And uh, Addison uh, had been working with World Vision uh, to raise money to buy clean water for Maureen's village in Africa. These two little girls became friends. So I called up Kevin, and Kevin was so moved by their story that he donated $10,000 to World Vision to help African villages gain access to clean water. <laughs> Addison is, is a young uh, white girl in the picture. Maureen is the uh, young African sister that lives in the village. And every morning before she went to school, she had to get up and walk, uh, I think it was three miles yeah. to get water. Three miles to get water. And a lot happens to these young girls on this walk. Because, you know, everybody ain't saved now. So a lot was starting to happen to some girls on this walk. You know, the criminal element is everywhere. You know, you know we have it here. And so it, it became kind of crazy, man, when we started figuring this out, just how far money can go over there. And so we started working with the uh, people with the water. So, Kevin, have you had a chance to meet Maureen yet? I mean, not yet. Um, I look forward to, 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 to meeting her soon. Well, uh... We caught up with Maureen, and she actually made you a little video to say thank you. Take a look. Hello, Kevin. Thank you for the donation of the Steve Harvey Show to World Vision Baratapua for water. Thank you, and God bless you. <laughs> well, let me ask you this, man. When it comes to changing communities in Africa, is money enough? No, I mean... No, Steve, money is not enough. We believe in investing in, 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 the, in society, we, we invest in, in our communities. We have um, a scholarship program um, which puts 150 school kids back into school. You know, these kids, a lot of them walk to school and they don't even have shoes. And this year, we are, you know, we are basically giving 10,000 kids um, shoes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but with us, what we notice is that, you know, you can't do nothing without health care. You can't do nothing if you're sick. Right. So you can go to school all you want, but if you don't have health care, what are you going to do? Right. So, you know, we also really invest, invest heavily in health care. You know, like we've done over 100 surgeries for kids with holes in their heart that don't have the means to pay for it or they'll just die. So we have a, we have a system in place which, you know, um, triggers in automatically once someone that is less fortunate comes and doesn't have the financial ability, you know, we take care of, of them for their entire medical bills. Yeah. And, you know, with, with all these things that we're doing, Steve, we focus on the girl child, because I personally believe in, if you invest in a girl, you invest in a nation, because... We... 
you know? Yeah. Because, because we, women naturally take care of us and, and, and community yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and society. So we are very keen, and even in my organization, I would say 80% of the top executives are women. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you this, man, before you... What advice would you give to other young entrepreneurs like yourself? What I tell any young person that's looking at, you know, doing business or, or anything in life in general is, with me, it's about prayer and persistence. So, so, so I, I think it's very important to understand that, you know, you're going to have people telling you you can't do stuff, but you need to believe in yourself. With me, you need to pray. You need to pray a lot. Mm. As soon as you tell it, man, you're absolutely correct, man, in, in, the, in that uh, assessment, man, of how it works. And it's good when people hear from people like you who live so far away. But once you understand the principles of success, you cannot escape faith. You can't. You can't get away from it, man. If you get away from that faith part of it, you're in trouble, partner. Because it takes three years to build a house. You can knock a house down in a day. They bring the wrecking ball and knock the house down in two hours. And to keep from getting knocked down, you got to have prayer. It just works, man. I think that this is a, a fascinating young brother, man. I think that you're making some great headway, man. I'll be so happy when we can publicly announce some of the things that you're doing. <laughs> really good, man. You're a good brother, man. Thank, Thank you for you joining Steve. us. Thank man. you very much. Thank very you. powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, folks, we'll be right back.